So, do y'all remember how in my first video I said I was trying to do one of those read five books before I can buy one challenges? Yeah. That's a major fail. Um, I have accumulated enough, enough books since that video to do another book haul. So, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna get right into it, cause... Y'all don't need this in your lives. So the first book I got is Hagseed by Margaret Atwood. I have not read anything by Margaret Atwood yet. I have seen the Hulu adaption of A Handmaid's Tale. Um, so I should probably read that at some point. But this is her um, book that she wrote based on The Tempest as part of, I think it's the Hogarth? Shakespeare series? Yeah, so uh, this publisher, Hogarth, is um taking like popular modern authors and asking them to rewrite and reimagine Shakespeare plays for a modern audience. So this is Atwood's reimagining of The Tempest. So, um, The next book I got is Norwegian Wood by Haruki Murakami, and I actually do not know what this is about. It is the poignant story of one college student's romantic coming of age that takes us to to distant place of a young man's first hopeless and heroic love. So, yeah, I'll, um, I got this for like 50 cents at the library book sale. So I am, um, and I, I haven't read anything about Hurricane Murakami, and he's a, he's a pretty popular book too, so I probably ought to. The next book I got is Angle of Repose by Wallace Stegner. And this book, as I understand it, is about a, uh, a professor at a college who's, like, writing a history. But the reason I'm interested in this book is that it is set in Colorado. And, um, you don't know this, but I've been trying to run a successful book club about books based in Colorado for several years now. Um... And I've, I've been failing at running that book club for several years as well. But I have put a lot of um, books on my TBR because of that book club. And this is one of them. So, uh. um, The next book I got is The Screw Tape Letters by C.S. Lewis. And I... I don't know if this is fiction or non-fiction. So yeah, so this is... um. This is just, like, um, a satire that Lewis wrote, um, like, observing humanity from the point of, like, I think, I think a demon, um, it says that Screwtape is an assistant to, quote-unquote, our father below, so, um, yeah. I have read Narnia and loved it, obviously, but that's the only Lewis that I've ever read, so gotta, gotta read some more. Um, the next book I got is My Sister's Keeper by Jodi Picoult, and um, this is about a girl named Anna, who was like, her, her parents had, had, had her as, as their second child, so that um, she could like, medically support her older sister, Kate. Um, I think Kate has, Kate has leukemia. And so Anna is like her bone marrow transplant. Or, uh, yeah. Um, and I believe at the beginning of this book, Anna, um, is not happy with that situation and tries to leave by emancipating herself because she doesn't want her life to be all about her sister anymore. So, sounds pretty interesting. I've been really interested in it for quite a couple of years now, and now I have it, so I have no excuses. And the next book I got is Special Topics in Calamity Physics by Marisha Pessel. Um, Marisha Pessel wrote uh, The Night Film, which was really big on BookTube a couple of years ago. I haven't read it yet. But this one, I think, like, the title of this one is more interesting to me anyways. Um, it, 
it seems like just like a campus like mystery novel, like the sort of um, sort of like the uh, God, what is that? The Secret History, kind of like the Secret History. Is, um, what it sounds like, it was it was too long for me to think of that title. Oh boy. Um, okay, so I do have two more books here that I want to show you guys. And um, if anyone, and I know that like no one has watched my last video yet, but if anyone watched my last video on my Penguin Classics collection, it's getting bigger. Yeah. Um, so the next books I have are both Penguin Classics that I got from Goodwill. The first one is The Prince and the Pauper by Mark Twain. I have not read Mark Twain. I probably read like parts of Huck Finn when I was like in the fifth grade, but does that really count at this point? It doesn't. It doesn't. So, um, I might want to read Huck Finn or Tom Sawyer before jumping into this. I might not. You never know. Um, yeah. So, this is, um, the tale of Tom Canty, who exchanges clothes and identities with Edward Tudor, the Prince of England. So, that just sounds like a lot of fun. And the second book, the second Penguin Classic I got, is Travels with Charlie in Search of America by Steinbeck. Um, in my last video, which again, no one's watched. But in my last video, I was talking about The Russian Journal by Steinbeck, which I absolutely adored. It was my second favorite book that I read in college. And this is another of... Steinbeck's travel logs. I think he published this either right after or right before the Russian Journal. And it's just Steinbeck and his dog going around America. It sounds like the best thing ever, so I'm super excited for this. Um, yeah. So, that's, uh, that's the number of books that I got there. Yay! Alrighty. Uh, that's all I have for you guys today, so I will see you next time. Bye.